Okay, this is a uh, reconciliation work, and it's all, also got communication, uh, contact me kind of, you know, rolled into it. Uh, I've got the red Santi Samamorte. Uh, I was going to call in the white aspect, uh, but uh, to, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to incorporate uh, some healing work into this spell uh, because we want the relationship to heal. Uh, so that can be done with. Uh, her, uh, which is what I'll be doing, uh, or sometimes I would call on the Archangel Raphael. Uh, he is excellent for healing work, I'm sure you all know that. Anyway, uh, I've got the photographs together face to face, uh, stuck together with honey. Uh, some powders there. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, bind them towards me and tie them with a little ribbon. Uh, I have anointed them and I'll go over the oils that I've used when I anoint the petition. So it's just a matter of pulling it forward three times clockwise. One, two, and three. And I'm going to buy the petition along with it. So just give me one moment. So, yes, um, I just said basically that he needs to call her, my contact text email, phone, whatever, uh, it's about time uh, he started, to, you know, to warm up to the idea of, of reconnecting, uh, she's going to be on his thoughts, uh, in his dreams, uh, on his mind, should I say, <laughs> uh, basically uh, to the point where he will reach out and make contact. I don't want her making contact uh, because I feel that it's not the right time and I think that if you make too much contact the person will back off. So it's important you know to really 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 go slowly with when someone's you know pushing themselves out of a situation it's important for you to pull back the no contact rule. I, I really believe in that. I think too much in your face is going to take longer and it's, you know, it, sometimes it can get to the point where it won't happen. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is, yes, the oils. Uh, let's see. This is healing. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the petition. And like I said, the photographs, they've really been anointed. Uh, protection. Because you never know. There's always people out there who are trying to sabotage things. So, communication. And success. Okay, I think that's enough. Pull that again. One. Actually, oh, that's right. I wanted to draw the air symbol on the back of it. So it's a bit like the contact me spell. I'm going to put the symbol for the air. You probably won't be able to see it here. Google it. Just Google symbol for the air element. And I'm going to write. Uh, So I'm basically writing, reach out to her, call her, text her, I'm just saying you must do this, okay, then you can just sign it off, uh, you can just sign it off with, uh, Sincerity or whatever. Just checking the spelling of the client's name. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it's right. Okay, so I'm folding that and then we're just going to put it together in a sugar jar. But first, I'm going to bind it uh, with this ribbon. So, pink, red, blue, even for healing. 
Okay, so you will uh, call her. You will realize she is the one. All the past hurts are now healed. It is over. It's time to start again. Make contact with her. She is the one for you. You will realize that you miss her and you will make contact with her as soon as possible. She's on your mind a lot and you must reach out. So, you know, something like that. Uh, if you get a little jar, pop it in like that and put your sugar. You can use brown sugar or syrup, honey, whatever you've got. I really like using sugar, I think. It's one of the best. And, like, you know, it, years back they used sugar a lot too. So I think it stood the test of time, to be honest with you. Now I'm going to put in here a little bit of uh, cinnamon to give it a bit of a punch and also to uh, bring about some sexual interest again. We want that uh, precipitation powder again to get things moving. If you don't have this, this is that's very hard to come by. Use uh, a little bit of coffee because coffee is a stimulant and it'll get things, you know, moving. Uh, this is some rose petals. Actually, I put them in at the end. I always like to put those in, in at the end. So prior to the working, I write up the petition. First of all, I would say uh, the, I would do the calling of the Santissima Morte uh, by the powers of earth, by the presence of fire, by the inspiration <coughs> of air, excuse me, by the virtues of water, I invoke and conjure Saint Death. That's really all I say because uh, I, I have done the, like I've said many times on this channel, I have done the Catholic uh, prayers and novenas and stuff, but I also I also uh, just like to use that little basic calling because I think it, it works, you know. This is some road opening, uh, bits and pieces for opening the roads. Uh, if you've got blockbuster oil, road opener oil, Aberkeen, you know, whatever, it's the same thing, you know, you could uh, use it. Uh, what else have I got that would come in handy? Uh, sorry. Just having a nosy. Maybe a bit of wall of fire to protect that relationship. Alright, and I'm just going to pop my rose petals in. I've also mixed the rose petals with some catnip. I bright. Uh, oh, there's a ton of stuff here. A lot of things. But you use whatever you've got, okay? My. Just blowing in to the jar to activate the jar. Popping a lid on it. Shaking it a little bit. I don't shake these jars. Some people do shake them. I don't shake them because uh, to me it makes things unstable inside the jar. So I just keep them still and just put a candle on it. I will be using uh, probably a red one uh, on top of it. That one's been used. I'm not using that one. Uh, red or pink, uh, or I may use a chime because I like to burn them down in one night, you know, that kind of thing. And then when I'm finished, uh, I'll work it for about a week or maybe a little bit more. When I'm finished, I will be taking it to the base of a tree and it goes into the, the around the roots of the tree. Someday I'll do a video on that. <laughs> I get an opportunity to be coming into the springtime or something and maybe get a, a chance uh, to show you where they all actually be deployed. So I'm going to move that over to the side and have a look at some of these cards. Okay. Uh, 
I work with the Santissima Morte in depth. I should say that because uh, a lot of people write, can they just jump into a spell with her? My opinion on that one is no, I wouldn't do that. I, I looked into her and got the food for her for a long time before I actually did any spell work. Uh, I wanted to know as much as possible about her, uh, her origins and all the rest. So, you know, it, it took me a while to actually uh, do workings. Uh, I've been working with her for a long, long time now. So yeah, I'm just saying it takes a while. Okay. I'm running out of space as usual. I'm seeing the problem here. Uh, the problem is there's like naive behavior, a bit of like childishness going on, uh, and something I think was sort of noticed. And I think that's where things started to go a bit off. And uh, now I feel the two of you are at the point where you need to make a decision about moving forward. The settling down thing, uh, I think in his opinion, the relationship was a bit of a bit unstable for him. Uh, because I think he has something in his head that... I think he's something in his head that there's another person possibly uh, yeah I'm thinking that he, he thinks that there's another person or I think you maybe think there's another person also uh, I don't think so I think there's a jealous person in the background but I don't think that there's uh, there's anyone else but I do think I think that he thinks that maybe you're getting a bit too much attention and he didn't like that. Uh, and that was the cause of a lot of the discord uh, and things being up in the air kind of thing. So, yeah, and I, I think it, uh, you're feeling guilty. You're, fe you're going through something that, oh, I wish I didn't do that, you know, kind of thing. Uh, I'm not saying that you're with anyone. <laughs> I'm just saying that I think he's picked something up incorrectly. Uh, could be to do with social media, like you told me. I think that's probably it, actually. I think he's read the whole situation uh, incorrectly. However, there's going to be some news, I think, coming your way. Uh, the flowers tell me it's something good. Uh, the tree... Um, you know, that could be bringing in uh, something that's going to maybe stabilize things a little bit better. Uh, also, the tree can be health related kind of thing, but I think it's more in this, in this reading, I think it's more um, putting down roots, settling down a bit, settling the situation down a bit. Because I think uh, things are a wee bit unstable at the minute. Alrighty. It's just a few oracle cards too. So I put these in some sort of order. I don't know if they make sense. They may not. But down the line they might. <laughs> we've got man holding a coin. And we've got woman holding a coin. Which is strange. For some reason... Oh, the cards disappeared. Uh, for some reason, I, I'm thinking along the lines of two people that are a couple, uh, it's possibly mother and father figure, something to do with money. I don't know, that's strange. Uh, maybe it's something else. Um, now we've got the thinking man. I think this is where he's at at the minute. He's given everything a lot of thought woman holding a heart I think that's you then we've got healer of the ages so that's a good card this this card appears quite often in relationship readings it's basically a card pointing towards healing and getting things back on track again 
just taking the time to um, stop, take note of the situation and, you know, not force things, you know, take away the attachment and just let things happen. Because uh, I always say that when we stress and worry over a situation too much, it puts up walls and those walls are hard to get over. If you're doing, you know, witchcraft on magic on the situation, it makes it a barrier and you don't want to do that. So it's important to maybe try visualization, uh, you know, a bit of meditation, even journal your thoughts, uh, what you want to happen in the future between you and him. That will help immensely. People don't realize the power behind uh, positive thought and, and, you know, basically the law of attraction. Anyway, door to spirit. I think that's basically saying the spirits have got your back. Uh, that card, it pops up when spells are put on the situation. It never, it rarely comes up if I'm doing just a, a reading for someone with no spell work. It's more or less, uh, I think it's more if I'm doing work that would pop up. And then we've got the angel of love. And then we've got happy family. Um that's a good ending basically happy family that's a card of good endings so i'm i'm, I'm pleased with the reading uh, i'm gonna get this to work now uh, i'm i'm really pleased with what i've you know what i've looked at uh there's potential for things to work out uh, i think if you just step away from the issue a little bit i know it's difficult and i know you think there's all these females and stuff but the more you step away the more you're on his mind that's how I th see things. And if you do little visualizations at night for a few minutes, that's all. It'll help the situation. It really will help. So I'll leave you with that. And if you need anything, you know where to find me. Uh, for everyone else, uh, uh, you can find me in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, I get, I'm getting a ton of inquiries uh, about do I have a website? I had a website a long time ago and it was hideous. <laughs> so I have uh, got someone at the minute working on a website and I have set up, I used to have a Bonanza store and I left it because it was full of nutters. Uh, there was just crazy, some crazy people, uh, you know, purchasing spells and stuff. Uh, I, I realized that it wasn't for me, but until I get my website up, I think maybe until after Christmas, I have put the Bonanza store up again. And what I normally charge for work, I've brought the price down, uh, but there won't be a video. There'll be a photograph of the work and maybe a bit of what I'm picking up from the actual spell kind of thing, feeling wise and impressions and stuff, but there will not be a video. Uh, so I, I brought the prices down significantly uh, just so that I can get the website because on the website I will be offering work with no videos. Uh, you know, the videos take a lot of energy, a lot of time. And uh, I want people to make the choice if they want a video or not. Not everyone cares. So, you know, I thought that would be an idea. So the store's up and I'm going to put it in the community section if anyone wants to look. I'm going to add things uh, to it as I go along, so bear with me. And they're old listings, so they probably <laughs> they probably need to be rejigged a bit. But, uh, you know, you can have a nosy. And uh, it's just basically going to be there short term to get this website. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll look better than the last one. Because the last one was really awful. It was just awful. So, uh, like, share, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. <laughs> and uh, I'll speak to you all very soon. Uh, good evening.